Heather, thank you. Students in the East County, they're going back to class today. It is a first day school for the La Mesa Spring Valley School District. Fox has Jacqueline Sarkeesian live outside Loma Elementary with what parents need to know. Jacqueline, good morning. Hi, good morning to both of you. Yes, first day of school summer officially over. They had a two month summer break and now a lot of kids, hundreds of kids returning here to Loma Elementary School. You can see all the kiddos behind me getting ready. I think the first bell is around 820 this morning. So we picked this specific location, Loma Elementary, because this gem of a teacher, Katie Eaton, <laughs> emailed us yesterday informing us, hey, it's the first day of school for La Mesa Spring Valley School District. And here we are. I swear we're not stalking you. I know I actually reached out to you guys and I love Fox 5. I always watch it. So thank you for coming out today. We're really happy to have you here. Happy to be here. Thank you for watching us. So first and foremost, how are you feeling this morning for safe school? Nervous, just like the students. And why is that? Why are you nervous? Just because we have so many new people to meet and we have so much planned and we just hope it all goes well and that everyone has a wonderful experience this year. So for parents watching, because, you know, they're not here just yet, school, they still have a few minutes to get here. That's right. Anything specific they need to know about this school year? I know the past couple of years, there's so many changes. So what's happening this year? Well, we don't have to wear masks, so Ooh. that's going to be great. We can see everyone's smiles and mm -hmm. expressions, and that makes a big difference when we're getting to know each other and teaching as well. We also have a new principal who I think you might meet later, and she's yes. just wonderful. So we're happy to have her aboard. Okay, and I got to ask you, there's that teacher shortage, staffing shortages happening nationwide when it comes to schools and the school districts. Are you guys experiencing the same thing? We are. We've been having several hiring events to hire paraprofessionals, and those are basically the people who help out our special ed students when they need extra help in mm -hmm. and out of the classroom. So we have a real shortage there. Um, and teachers also, uh, there's a bit of a shortage there. We're kind of being careful with our hiring because um, our enrollment is very low district-wide. And you were saying it's because it's so expensive now to live in Southern California, San Diego County, so unfortunately our families are moving out. I think that has a lot to do with it, and some people prefer to homeschool their child. I think some people are still nervous about the pandemic and whatnot, so um, hopefully that will come back. My numbers in my classroom are actually pretty good right now, okay. so I'm excited about that, but we are, you know, it's kind of a weird transition time for us as far as numbers and enrollment and whatnot and hiring. Now, before we toss it back to Sholly and Raul, what do you do as a teacher to, you know, get your students to loosen up and just realize, hey, this is going to be a fun school year. Don't be depressed. Summer is over. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know. I just ha try to have a lot of energy and lots of smiles and, you know, work together to get to know each other. We do a lot of community building and, okay. and just fun, fun things where we share and get to know each other. Awesome. Have yeah. the best school year, Miss Ian. We appreciate you talking to us. Oh, I'll send it back so to you guys much. in the studio. Hi, Just mm. <laughs> big fan of your guys's. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> Hi. Have a great year. All those little kids, Aww. they look tiny and cute. I know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I give know. them all big hugs. Like That's their awesome. Their backpacks are bigger than them. I know. Aww. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Jacqueline.